This is the top front frame. This is the one that's going to be hinging. So we've cut out our all the bits of wood here. We square it up. And I'll just show you the detail of these little brackets that we put on. So we, we cut out a bit of sheet steel. This is fairly thin, but it's strong enough. And then we punch holes, plenty of holes in here so that we can put some little clouts in. And uh, once it's square, we just nail that into position. So that's the, the steel brackets, and there's one in each corner, and then we do the same thing in the middle. Slightly different shape. So those are our brackets. Once we've done that, then it's time to put the first sheet of plastic on. So we'll put our first sheet of plastic down. Just check we've got it lined up properly. Down the bottom edge, I've cut it flush with the edge of the board. On the top edge, put a little bit of extra over there, and that's uh, you'll see why later on. So we want to create a space between this layer of plastic and the next one of about 20 millimeters. So we've cut a strip of wood here that's roughly 20 millimeters thick. We're going to nail that into position. We're going to nail another strip of wood on. We've got a little bit of spare plastic on the edge, this edge, so we can pull it tight. Get it reasonably tight, it's not critical. We've got our first layer of plastic down. We've pinned it on the top and the bottom, sides and in the middle. So that's fixed in place well, and the wood will give it a good grip with those nails. So it's time to put the next layer of plastic on. So we're gonna have about a 20 millimetre gap between the two layers of plastic which will slow down the transfer of heat. But still allow the solar gain. So this time we've got even more at the top. And we'll explain that later on but it's good to have some extra plastic there. That's gonna help us seal the, the top of the door, this hinged door. Get everything in the right place and then we can just nail another strip of wood on. So we're going to put, have a little bit of an overhang on the bottom which means that the water will shed over the next frame. Okay, so that's in good position. We'll get our wood on. So we'll use these strips of wood to pin down the second layer of plastic. They're not as thick. All we've got to concern ourselves with is pinning the plastic down. So they can be a bit thinner. 
and I've pre-drilled some holes so that we can just screw that into place. First we'll tack it in the right position. And we can screw it down. Yeah, that's not going to move now. We can put our strips of wood on. We've done the bottom fix. Now we'll do the top fix. Stretch the plastic out a little bit. Just get it Raise me tight. So we're screwing down this little strip of wood here. We, usually what we do is we start at one end and then uh, we'll line it up for the middle one and then line it up for the last one because often there's a little bit of a bow in the wood. So we keep it straight as we go along and then we can come back and fill in the, the uh, screws in between now that it's reasonably straight. Okay, so we've, we've built a, uh, a solid frame to put the plastic on. We've put two strips of plastic down with a separation between the two and we've put a final finishing strip that's screwed on. So that's um, given us our door. Here's our first frame. We've put the back frame up. We've slid it onto the steel that's coming out of our concrete foundations and we're just going to bend those down that'll stop it lifting up so that's fixed our first frame in place We'll get that vertical in a minute. Let's put the next frame up. We've made a little bit more progress on the frame. We've got our front frame up, back frame, some uh, cross pieces here, members. Um, everything's fixed on the foundations. We've got, uh, this is our hinged door. Not braced yet. <laughs> that we'll use for accessing. So we've got to put the drums inside here, put a shelf across here, and then put a roof on. But before we do that, we've got, to, we've got to work on the foundation still. So sitting underneath the drums, we're going to have some dry topsoil. And the dry topsoil is a reasonably good insulator. But underneath that dry topsoil, we're going to have a plastic layer. And we're going to use a bit of plastic over there that we, um, we got from the last one. So it's not good enough to use for the top but it's good enough to use underground where the sun's not going to get at it so we'll recycle all the plastic from from the last cloche okay we've put a we're making a rat skirt to go around here because sure as eggs as soon as this gets nice nice and dry and warm the rats will want to come and live in here so first of all we put some plastic down the side so that's going to stop the moisture wicking in then we'll put some netting And Daniel's 
plastering into that netting with a pumice cement mix so that'll go quite hard and then down the bottom of the skirt which comes out at right angles to the wall we've got some builders mix and cement so there's concrete in there that's good and solid that's going to stop them digging down and underneath so that's our, our rat skirt we'll get that done and then that, that'll provide us with a retaining wall right around that we can put a dry mix of um, topsoil and the dry topsoil is going to give us just a reasonable amount of insulation it's not the best insulation but once it's topsoil is dry it's reasonably good insulation the plastic on the front we fitted onto the frame in the workshop the plastic on the sides here we fit in situ so once the here's the main frame here this is a 50 by 50 millimeter we tack the plastic onto this frame and then we tack a 20 millimeter strip to hold that plastic onto the frame then we put another layer of plastic so that gives us our 20 millimeter gap for good insulation and lastly we put a thin strip of wood it can be 20 millimeter too but it doesn't need to be in this case of it's about 10 millimeter so we've got two strips of wood tacked onto the frame and each one of them holds uh, the plastic sheet on so we repeat that technique on the back and on the roof same thing all done in situ